Acts chapter 10, verse 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. The anointing makes the difference. The anointing makes the difference. Was uh, in the Gospel of Luke, Jesus began to declare his ministry and his mission on earth. He says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he anointed me to preach the gospel unto the poor. Of course, anointed to preach the gospel, that's evangelizing, to heal the broken in heart, that is to encourage, to preach deliverance to the captive, and to set at liberty those that are bruised, that is emancipator, to recover the sight of the blind, that is to enlighten and to preach the acceptable year of the Lord, that is the easement. Of course, Peter now picks up, of course, where Jesus left off in the gospel, he talked about how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who in his performance, he went about doing good. And of course, in his power, he delivered those who were oppressed of the devil because he had the presence of God. Listen, uh, in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 21, it says, Now he which established us with you in Christ and had anointed us is God. The same anointed that was in Christ is in you and me. The question is today, what are you going to do in 2024? Look good and make an impression or do good and make a difference? The anointing makes the difference. Let us pray. God, our Father, we come today in the name of Jesus and by the present power of your Holy Spirit, God, we come giving thanks always for all things. God, we thank you, Lord God, that, Lord God, that you have called us and commissioned us and consecrated us, God. You have anointed us with the Holy Spirit. We pray, Father God, that we would do just as Christ, that we would go and do good, Lord God, and to all men, especially those in the household of faith. I pray, Father, that we don't be weary in our well-doing, because we know that in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. Thank you, as always, for the victory that you've given us through Christ Jesus. For you and you alone are our strength, our Redeemer, our Savior, and our Lord. To God be the glory, glory. Hallelujah.